Warning, this is a pest control video and contains footage of animals being shot. If this is likely to offend, then please don't watch. Please see the description below for more information on this video. There's also some links you may find useful. Thank you for joining me on another rat shoot. We're back at the farm again. Very nice evening, warm, no breeze, very calm, very quiet. Just a few birds squawking away in the background. And the dead rat under the container there. I'm going to be focusing around the storage container and the corner of the barn. Um, there seems to be quite a lot of rats in that area since the feed and seed has been taken out of the barn. They're looking for new sources of food and new places to bed down. I'm fairly happy that was a good shot, but just to be on the safe side, make sure he is dead. He gets another one. He's uh, he's proper dead. Pulled him out and he was he was finished. This little one sticks his head out, very excited. He was perfectly healthy before I came along. Not so much now though. I'm going to head back across to the corner of the storage container. We've got some calf food down there, absolutely stinking stuff. It's all liquidized so they can't pick it up and run away with it. He comes out and has a free feed. He absolutely loves it. The dessert's probably not that good for him, but at least he had a free feed initially. You can see he starts to kick and jump here. This is this inhibition. This is perfectly normal in a headshot, and there's more information in this in the description below. And there he is. Back across to the left of the storage container is the scrap metal pile. If you remember on the previous video or previous two videos, there was quite a lot of activity over there. A lot of rats playing and chewing the metal and chewing the wood and taking that away for nesting material. Not much going on over there at all. So I'm going to focus back under this container. Just wait patiently and then another one comes out from underneath the container. happy with that shot and then a second one shortly after that I'm happy with that shot too that knocks him right on his side out cold toes up time for him he's got to meet his maker this is the front of the storage container and this is rat coming out he doesn't get a chance to come out I take a upper body shot on there just to make sure that the pellet doesn't go too high and I hit the container so that's why he jumped back and ran underneath. He's going to bleed out from that very quickly. This is the barn to the right of the container that I usually shoot in, looking down. There's not a lot of activity in the barn this evening. It all seems to be around the front and side of the container. That's another nice straight on shot there. That was a headshot and you can see him lying there and he's going to start kicking and jumping. He kicks himself underneath the container and I was managed to retrieve him shortly after. About five minutes later I heard some scratching and a noise to the right and I spotted this little fella. Knock that one down as well. Now that one was only about two or three inches long. It's only very small but you know it's not the size that counts is it? They all get big in the end. <laughs> and this one in the scrap metal gets in. First one from the scrap metal pile of the evening. I was hoping that there would be more over there but Unfortunately not. I stay there for a good few minutes, scanning the area. Nothing at all shows up over there. Move back across to the container, and I spot these two. <sighs> which one? Which one? I opt for the one on the left. And I'll tell you why. The one on the right was hiding behind the fork, and I was worried that if I hit the fork, I'd lose both of them. So I went for the one on the left. Nice easy kill. I took that one down. This one. Uh, I nearly got two in a row but the magazine was empty fire and blanks it's like being back at school I come back after reloading and I get one of them the other one disappeared back to the container and there's another one down from underneath there no sooner had I shot that and I moved around the side of the container I shot another one they were coming out fairly quickly from underneath there. 
I waited a short time, see if he came out, and he kicks himself out just nicely. That's a good rear kick there, so the head looks dead, the back end's kicking. I'm fairly sure that's a good head shot, but I couldn't quite be sure where I was standing. So I do give him a second shot to be sure. Good evening overall, I shot 7, recovered 5. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.